Ladies, gentlemen, it is your amazing host right here. It is Team Rai Rai, the one and only Team Rai Rai. How are you doing on this Sunday's edition? I am doing glorious. Today is the first Sunday of the NFL season. Thank God it is back. And my team plays tonight. Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. It will be down below. I really appreciate it. Double click it. Double, sorry, double click it. DM me. Then you and I can make arrangements of having you as a guest of the Rai Rai Show. But please, don't come on board to make fun of me the way I look. The way I talk and all the other, other crappy stuff. Thank you and come again. I want to discuss about other stuff like sports, movies, video games, anything. What's on your mind? I don't mind to listen to you. Okay, so I'll discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up. Grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe you want to like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below for this one. There will be an article. Let's get into this. Okay, let me discuss about Jeff Hardy. Now I know a lot of you, or maybe a few of you, are very mad with the WWE. How are they treating Jeff Hardy? He's now in the 24-7 title picture, or he is a 24-7 champion. I don't know. I don't recall. Oh, well, actually, I don't remember. But I know he's in a 24-7 um, in that picture. And I said to myself, what does it really matter? Okay? He can't be the top of the guy all the fucking time. Fans are so flipping picky, you know? I know the 24-7 belt is a flipping joke, but this is a PG era kind of stuff. You got to deal with it or don't watch WWE anymore, okay? Quit your complaining, people. You guys are never happy with any wrestling what's going on in the world today except AEW until things go wrong with that company, but... Right now, things are doing very good for that company. But anyway, back what I was saying about Jeff Hardy. He really wanted to do like a cinematic tag team kind of match. Does he run the company? No, he does not. So, it may not even, even happen. I guarantee W will not grant us his wish. Just wait. Jeff Hardy was on a recent episode of the wrestling Inside the Rope with James Stewart. During it, he made it known that he wants a Simic Manic with the Usos. That'd be awesome, but frankly, we all know that's never going to happen, okay? Now, when they filmed the Simic Manic match with Taker... Versus AJ Styles that took a long time to per prepare. And you know you think W's going to do this again? Maybe, maybe not. You know, it was one... Sorry, let me slow down. It was one life... Once in a lifetime. That kind of... kind of That kind of thing. Because it takes a long time to prepare, okay? It was epic. Nothing will ever top that. Nothing. It was very good. Okay. Now they, now Jeff Hardy wants to face the Usos. It won't be as good because his brother is in AEW. So who's he going to get? He's going to be like two on one handicap match? No. He's got to find a partner. And I doubt it that he could find a, a partner with his same skills. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of you think that Jeff Hardy should have went to AEW. Why? Is it because it's the hottest thing right now? 
you know, no, no bashing with the company, but they have too much talent as it is. I'm sorry. Okay. You know, they don't need a saying, keep sending these former WWE superstars just because they're not working out with WWE. You know, you have ROH, you have New Japan, you have all the wrestling companies besides WWE and AEW. But I guess we'll see what's going to happen. But I think Jeff Hardy should leave. But will he leave? I don't know. I know you're going to say he should have leave because they're not treating him right. You know, there's a lot of guys and a lot of females not happy with the company, you know? I guarantee you they're not happy. You know? So, I mean, I'd love to see a Sam McMahon match with Usos and Jeff Hardy. But one question is, I don't think it's going to work out. It'd be a total disaster with no uh, Matt Hardy. So, what's the point of it, you know? Or maybe, just maybe, uh, Jeff Hardy has a surprise that we don't know about. For a tag team partner. Just do it one on one. If they want to do a cinematic man a match. But I don't think that we will ever do that again. It was just one thing. Once in a very rare. They did that kind of thing. And the only reason they did that. Because the whole pandemic kind of thing. You know. Because that match between Taker and AJ Styles. That was supposed to happen. In Tampa. Home of the Buccaneers. In that nice beautiful stadium. In 2000, I think 19, but was it no, no sorry 2020, but it's the whole pandemic. They they did not cancel WrestleMania. They um they had it at a performance center, and that WrestleMania was very very different than compared to the other ones, you know. So the fans was not really excited for the whole entire card until that match actually happened, and that was the only best thing about that mania. That was it. Okay, I'm sorry to say that. So, um, you guys agree this for yourself, and maybe he'll find a partner on the current roster, but I don't know. I have no idea. I don't think that we will ever consider it. I flip and doubt it. So, so what's your thoughts on this? Will you want to see Jeff Hardy versus the Usos if he find a partner in a cinematic manic tag team match? I don't think it's gonna work. No. There's no reason they should do this again. This kinda kinda match. It was okay with Taker for his age. That was a great build up and it was a good to end Taker's career. It was awesome. And a lot of you are, are upset. Um all that good stuff. So what's your thoughts? Everyone out there have a good one and I'll see you guys tonight. Be careful, be safe, and watch the football games. Thank God. The NFL is back.